Your question comes from judge number eight, Perez Hilton. Vermont recently became the fourth state to legalize same-sex marriage. Do you think every state should follow suit? Why or why not? In my country and in, in, in my family, I think that I believe that a marriage should be between a man and a woman. No offense to anybody out there. but that's Some did take saying, offense, including the openly gay Hilton, who said Monday he was floored by the response. She gave the worst answer in pageant history. I expected Miss California to have been prepared for that question, especially because she is Miss California, the state that recently passed Proposition 8, banning gays and lesbians from marrying. So I was hoping that she gave a better answer. California, Carrie Prejean, good morning to good you. Good morning. Thank so you for having me. He wants you to be the perfect Miss USA. He wants you to answer questions in a way that sounds good to all Americans. Is he giving you an impossible task? I, I think he is. You know what, Matt? I was on that stage that night, and I was so excited to be there. I was competing for Miss USA, and I was called into the top ten, into the top five, and I was standing there, and, and you know, I was ready for my question, and, and when I heard it from him, I knew at that moment after I had answered the question, I knew that I was not going to win because of my answer. Because you had spoken because from your heart. Because I had spoken from my heart, from my beliefs, and, and for my God. Well, okay, so let me ask you this. So if I were to, and I won't ask you, but if I were to ask you the very same question right now and say you get a do-over on this, how badly do you want to win that title? Would you have answered it differently? No. I wouldn't have answered it differently. Um, I think that the way that I answered it, you know, might have been offensive to people, and I said, and no offense to anybody. I did not want to offend anybody, but I think with that question specifically, uh, it's not about being politically correct. For me, it was being biblically correct. He, he says he hopes this doesn't usher in an era where contestants are subjectively judged on, on religious or moral or political beliefs. And I think it's unfortunate that a lot of pageant girls, uh, you know, they have the pressure. Like Claudia Jordan said, she was one of the judges. She was great. Uh, she said that, she, you know, I should have been more in the middle. I shouldn't have given a specific answer. But that goes against what I stand for. And when I'm asked a specific question, I'm going to give a specific answer. Answer. I'm not going to stand in the middle. I'm going to take one side or the other. Kara, you you came so close. I did. I did. And uh, and I am I'm so proud of myself. And I have so many people that are so proud of me. And um, it wasn't what God wanted for my life that night. That's the way you explain it to yeah. yourself. And you wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't be here right now with you if I were to be Miss USA. So I know that I have a purpose, and um, I, don't, I don't take back what I said. I was true to myself, and I know now that I can go out and, and, and speak to young people about standing up for what you believe in and never compromising anything for anyone or anything, even if it's the crown of Miss USA. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Carrie. We appreciate it.